Welcome, guys, to another hey. World War Marvel. As you know, I'm your channel host, Adam, and today I have with me... Sean. Sean, how are you, dude? Good. That's good. I haven't seen you in quite some time yeah, because of this ongoing... Months. It was probably a, almost a month and a half because yeah. I think it was six weeks... Yeah, and then extended another two. two. It was like yeah. it was at least a month and a half in that with yeah. this lockdown and such, right. so it kind of sucks. But things are getting back to normal, which is nice. Yes. Uh, people are getting their shots and everything else. Yep. Uh, so hopefully, cross mine as fast yeah. as possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping things like you know uh, events and that start happening. Mm. I don't know if this year would be sort of optimistic. Mm. Optimistic uh, for this year, but I think next year, next maybe year, a hopefully, bit. be a lot better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we are throwing down a MCP battle report. Um, we've already rolled off. Sean has priority. He had two successes, crit and wild, where I rolled two successes, but mine was a wild and a hit. Um, so he went with extractions. Uh, I had secures. Uh, so he ended up drawing struggle for the cube continues, and I had infinity formula goes missing. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting because there's going to be a ton of power to be gained oh, yeah. uh, from everybody with the cubes and with, with the... Um, the uh, Infinity Formula Serums. Yeah. Um, so basically, it's we're playing 17th threat because they're both 17th threat cards. Uh, you score one victory point for each fragment that you hold for the cubes, and then in the power phase, you, you suffer one damage, but gain a, a power as well for each cube that you have. Um, and there's five of them across the board using map F, and then for the Infinity Formula using map B, you score one victory point for each Serum Canister you have, and you gain one power for each uh, Serum Canister, or uh, for contesting a Serum Canister. Mm. So, that should be interesting. So we've already picked our rosters and our teams, and, and then we've already picked our tactics cards and that. So let's show you guys this board that we're playing on. Gonna be slightly different today because I haven't pulled this board out in mm. a couple of years actually since playing some Middle Earth SBG. Um, so I thought I'd pull it out and give it a go today. Um, show you the teams and get right into the match from there. Okay. Actually, hmm? <laughs> I just had a thought. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Just give what? me a second. Uh, I just want to redo that. I'll just let this continue to roll. Uh, and the only reason by being is because I got to do like a little torchlight games and hobbies. So oh, yeah. So you're doing that now. Yeah, yeah. Are you good with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, guys. I'm here, Blackfire Productions. We are back with another World War Marvel. As you know, I am your channel host, and today I have with me Sean. Sean, how are you? Good. It's been a while. Yep. Haven't seen each other. Haven't thrown any dice. Nope. This whole lockdown pandemic thing nope. is been dragging its arse yeah. around here and uh but on the plus side things are looking to be getting back to better. normal which is good and better um so we are playing uh marvel crisis protocol throwing down for another battle report um we've already ruled off for priorities and that but before we get into all that i gotta give a big shout out to torchlight games and hobbies uh they've been supporting the channel over the last little bit so make sure you click the description the, their link in the description of the video down below go check out their web store while you're there you can use the code fire five to save five percent off of all your hobby supply needs so things like paintbrushes paints etc um so today's mission you had priority, yep. uh, you rolled two successes. Crit and wild, I had two successes, wild and hit, so you had it. You right. went with extractions. Yep. You ended up going with struggle for the cube continues, so five cosmic cube fragments using map F. You score one victory point for each of those fragments you have. But, but, there's always a but, um, in the power phase, you suffer a point of damage for point each damage. cube you have. Yeah, not good uh, if you can't take that damage. Yep. Um, but then you also gain power for that. Power. Okay, so that's what you went with. And for me, I went with Infinity Formula Goes Missing. Uh, and so there's four Serum Canisters using map B. Uh, and if you're contesting them in the power phase, you gain a power as well. And then also in the cleanup phase, you get one yeah. victory point. So somebody could get a lot of victory points yeah. and, and really jump up in this because it's a total nine victory points. Like yeah. if you get everything, which yeah. would be really hard, I think. But yeah. it could, could be done. Could mm -hmm. be done. So anyhow, let's show you guys the board, show you the... Um, teams that in rosters that we're playing with and get right in the match from there. So here we are with my roster for today. Um, so I'm going with X-Force. Uh, I decided obviously to use them because it's like my second time using them. So I went with Cable, uh, Domino, Wolverine, Deadpool, and then to make it round that up to 17, I have Toad. Uh, I was thinking of Bob, but I decided to go with Toad with this scenario. So the other characters I have that I'm not using are Beast, Bob, Agent Hydra, Sabretooth, Storm, and Cyclops. Tactics cards that I'm bringing today are No Matter the Cost, Exceptional Healing, Weapon X Program for some extra uh, short throw of Wolverine into somebody, Doom Prophecy, and Cat and Mouse. And then the other ones that I am not bringing are Field Dressing, uh, First Class, uh, Bitter Rivals. Um, 
the other two uh, skiers that I could have went with was Gamma Waves or uh, Demons Downtown, and then Fear Grips the World as uh, so Hammers, uh, and then Research Station and Struggle for the Cube continues for uh, extracts for me. So that is my roster. And here we are with Sean's team and roster today. So his characters that he's bringing with him are Hawkeye Cap, Spider-Man, Black Widow, and Black Panther. So lots of fast moving, some range with Hawkeye, and then Cap obviously for his leadership and some board control between Spider-Man and uh, Black Panther. The other characters he is not bringing uh, are Vision, Angela, Thor, Wasp, and Iron Man. Uh, tactics cards wise, he just went with Disarm to uh, stop me from hitting him hard, Med Pack for some healing, Avengers Assemble, which will be really good, I think, uh, for turn two to get into position to move around, Grievous Wounds to prevent the healing from me, and then Professionals to hopefully pop the objective off of one of my guys onto uh, Natasha after Hawkeye decides to shoot them. Uh, so I will show you the board next. So here we are with the 3x3 board that we are playing on. What it is is a uh, park board. I don't know, uh, some park in some sort of city somewhere. Uh, so we have objectives there. We got objectives there, uh, over on the back side there, as well as there, and then one uh, cube fragment in the center. Uh, so the Daily Bugle, the um, statue and the gazebo are all size three. The trees are size two. Uh, the benches are size one as well as like the other scattered trains so the lights and stuff. Uh, the sections of these fences are going to be size two. That's for like the entrance into the park area. Um, these hills over here, these stones are just going to be treated as flat terrain that you can just sort of walk over. Um, not actually being used to interact with um, just due to the fact that they're built right onto the board and the same with like these stones as well uh, they're just going to be um, considered as part of the board so that is it we'll show you deployment next I am deploying on this side Sean will have that far side over there Deployment wise, I have placed Deadpool there, uh, Toad in the center of the board, and then Wolverine, Domino, and Cable, where you got everybody pretty much central. You got Spider Man and uh, Black Panther back there, Hawkeye on the hill, uh, Cap and Widow over here. Um, so, yeah, that is what it looks like. I am playing a card called Cat and Mouse. Uh, so, basically, what it is for the people that have not seen it in another battle report or have the card themselves, after all the characters have been deployed, an X Force character. Oh, I can't even do that. Um, yeah, hmm, it's gonna be uh, Cable, he's gonna be going up the board anyways, so yeah, he's gonna be doing that. Black Widow is activating first for Sean. You're gonna be moving up the board. Yep. And uh, going right there like so. Right there. Okay, Ooh, are you gonna pick up that cube fragment I'm yes, guessing? Yes, I am. Sounds good, man, sounds so good. pick up that cube fragment. Yep. And then anything else, or are you just going to hang off there and wait? Um, because she's already activated, I'm just going to probably have her... And so she just basically repositioned herself like so, um, just instead of uh, being right up there, she just moved back a hair, so she is done. So Toad here is going to take a medium movement, uh, followed by another medium movement to end at range two of that center uh, cosmic cube. So that way he can grab that up and then if anybody ever attacks him, jump back here. And then spends his power to pick that up as well uh, before he ends his activation there. Like so. Cap is up next for Sean. Uh, Sean, what are you going to do with him? Do a move action? I'm going to do move action. All right, so we'll see where he ends up. Doing two move actions and going to pick up that pick cosmic up cube. cube with uh, Cap. Yep. Going to go with Deadpool next. He's going to take a move action, uh, followed by a second move action, just replacement. So his first one's just going to be up here. Um, but I'm actually thinking I'm just going to do a second one just to be within one up there like so um, and he will be picking up the uh, fragment as well using one power from that Hawkeye is next for Sean he's gonna be doing his hook arrow to move up the board uh, to there um, and then I'm assuming you're gonna be shooting 
Maybe Toad? He's going to be shooting Toad. Okay, we'll see what happens there. Sean's just sort of shimming uh, with the placement of his, uh, well, Hawkeye's placement, just yeah. so he actually is within range two of Cap, who's right behind that tree. You can't see over there, but he is there. Uh, so let's see what you do with your five die shot into Toad. Toad. Into Toad. Uh, toad, is, it doesn't matter if it's physical or energy, because I have uh, three dice versus both. So let's see what you get. Okay. Uh, crit and two hits. Yep. So roll another die in there, um, and let's see what you get with that last die. A yeah, wild. So go. four. Wild. I'm blocking one, so I'm going to take three damage from that mm -hmm. and gain three power as well. But at the end, I'm also going to slippery myself out of there. All okay. Right. Uh, you, you do give me a status effect yeah, if I'm you want. I'm going to give him slow. Okay, you're going to give him slow. Makes sense. So at the end, I am using Slippery, um, and I will move the heck out of Dodge, and just right there, like so, to be within one of my own Infinity uh, Serum canisters. Then doing a move action with Hawkeye. Again, this rock face, we are just treating it as like a flat terrain surface, uh, not an actual hill or anything along those lines. Um, just for the sake of simplicity's sake, so that is Hawkeye done. Wolverine is up next for me, he's gonna take a move action up there, uh, and then probably pick up that cube. Actually, he will pick up that cube. He's gonna take a second move action too, after picking up that cube, just to sort of be within one, but at the most forward uh, position possible. Something like that. So he's still within one of that serum canister. Um, and we'll gain power next turn for that as well. Spider-Man is up next for Sean. And you were doing a move action with him, moving him all the way over there. Yep. Look at that, holding that objective. That's a good Spidey. And that is Spider-Man's activation. He's just going to hold off and sit on that objective to grab some power next turn. And Domino's going to be taking a move action, uh, probably too, just to get into position. Uh, to... Um, be used next turn, I think, and gain some power from the Infinity Serum Canister. And she's ending her movement right there like so, um, and that does leave me some space to move Cable if I need to as well. Black Panther is moving up and just standing by the objective as well. You're not going to move him forward at all or anything? No? No. Alright, sounds good. I will come back to Cable then for the yes, last activation really of round one. Cable's going to be my next activation, the last one, like I said, for round one. Uh, he's going to spend two power to do a body slide by one to tuck in over here. Uh, just like so, just trying to get as far as possible. Uh, and then I think I got a bunch of guys that I can see within range five. Um, so basically all of them, Spider-Man, um, Cap and Black Panther. So I'm going to do a couple of shots this turn. So Cable is going to shoot from here all the way up into Spider-Man over there who is in range. Uh, it is a plasma rifle shot, range 5, uh, and on a wild it gives incinerate. Okay? okay. So here we go. Uh, that is three hits. No wild. Into, no wild. Yeah, I do have one reroll due to my Wetworks okay. um, X-Force affiliation. So I got three hits, a blank, and a block. So let's see what you get for your um, Spider-Man. So you got a crit and a block, which is really good. Add that uh, third die in there. Yep. Uh, nope. And you can't even use any re-rolls from your no. Spider-Sense because they're both failures. So I'll re-roll my one blank die that I had. Looking for a wild. Nothing. So uh, you take two damage because I had three uh, hits from that. So you take one damage. And I gain one power from that as well. One damage. Yeah, one damage on Spider-Man. And then I'll do it again. Uh, I was thinking of doing attacking into Black Panther, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to go into Spider-Man just because I can. Here we go. Let's see what I caught <laughs> sideways. Uh, so there's a crit. Nice. So let's see what that crit gives me. Another hit, and I do get a reroll as well. So I have two. That failure isn't doing anything, but one of these will reroll. So let's see what you get for your... Block him one, and you do have spider sense, so here's my reroll. Uh, there's a wild, that's always good. So Spider-Man's incinerated now. Uh, you get spider sense, gives you two rerolls, right? All right, so you're blocking all damage from that. All damage, but I get incinerate. But you do get incinerate, so your defense rolls now are minus one. I actually did that wrong. Uh, I already did my wet works reroll. It's once per turn, not once per roll. Ah. Um, so yeah, it's not as good as well. I'm trying to make it out. So yeah, that is not an incinerate on Spider-Man. But that is Cable done. Okay, so clean up phase of round one. Sean, you have two cubes. 
Yep. One on Cap and one on Black Widow, and two serum canisters, one by Black Widow and one uh, by everybody else on your team. So you're jumping up to four victory points, where I have three uh, cubes, one on Deadpool, one on Wolverine, one on Toad, and two canisters as well. So that puts me at five, and we are going to round two next, and we'll come back with Sean's first activation after the power. <laughs> Sean activates a character. What he is doing is uh, playing uh, Avengers Assemble. Yep. And so uh, what is happening now is he's hoping to use that to get into range to start uh, jumping on me. So uh, Black Widow, Hawkeye, and then Cap and Black Panther are all paying the power. Spider-Man can't because he is not an Avenger. Uh, and so those four are paying power to advance short. So I'll show you where those are afterwards. Black Widow is going to take her first activation for Sean and shoot into Hawkeye with her pistols, I think it is. Yeah, it's her pistols. Um, one power. So, I yeah. Just, yeah, I might just move. Yeah, so okay. pistol strike into Deadpool. Here we go, four dice. <laughs> Throw that crit in there. That's four. That's four. Uh, all right, you want to move those out and I'll roll mine. Uh, that's four, and you do have a wild, not that it matters. Uh, Deadpool is blocking. That's just as good as a roll. Three. Uh, four, four, and I have a reroll, but I don't need to reroll it. So he actually takes no damage from that, which is insane. We both rolled extremely hot uh, right. when it was needed. Uh, our next question, attacking again, or are you going to retreat or move? That is the question. Somewhere else. I don't know. Move. And you're doing a second move action back here like so um, to contest this objective. Uh, yeah. If somebody dies, that is the question. The yeah. thing. Yeah. If somebody dies. Okay, so my next activation is going to be Toad, um, because I can do some stuff. So he's going to do Finder Keepers. It's an action, so I can move one asset token or civilian token chosen, uh, the chosen character is holding to this character. So I'm choosing Deadpool, and I'm going to take his Cosmic Cube and place it on Toad. So that is an action. Uh, that is what I will be doing. Toad then is going to do a Tongue Lash into uh, Black Widow. Uh, so it's four dice. Actually, do I want to do that or do I want to? Yeah, it's going to be a Tongue Lash uh, into Black Widow. Okay. okay, so here we go. Here's my dice roll. Uh, that is two with a crit. That is three going into Black Widow. She does have three physical defense. Mm -hmm. And I do get a reroll with that one blank as well. And I do have a wild which pushes it. So. Let's get the roll. Blocking two. Blocking two. Yeah, uh, I do get my reroll here, so I'm not gonna daze you, which is good, but I will be pushing you. Uh, so I do two damage to her, um, mm -hmm. and I gain two power from that as well. And then uh, I, I do get to push you uh, away, away short as well. So we'll see where I push you. Damn it. So I'm gonna push uh, Black Widow straight back, and basically what's gonna happen is uh, we've never used these bases as area no. piece. It's a trunk and, and such. Um, so, but I'm gonna push her so she collides with the, tree. Uh, uh, with the tree because it gives me that little bit of extra distance from that objective um, yeah. with uh, from Toad, I should say. And I should say it's only actually one damage to uh, Black Widow because she has martial artists, uh, and so I only gained one power from that and the push. Um, do you have? Anything you want to do? Is it your counter strike? I I'm think doing it is. My counter strike. Your counter attack. Yep. Spending one is power it, I got. So. Yeah, you might as well. Uh, so take a power off of her, yep. and then go for. And you do have a wild uh, there, so. which is really good for you, um, because that is one damage from Toad, and Toad only has five stamina, so he drops both of those cubes. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked uh, with her. So where would you like to place those cubes? Um, yeah. And Toda's Day is there, so yeah, good job on Black Widow. You're going to be activating Hawkeye next, so I'm assuming you're going to be taking a couple of shots into yep. uh, Deadpool. doesn't matter if they're physical or energy because they're both the same defense on okay. him. So um, what you're looking for is probably some damage onto him, though. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you get. Five dice. Yes, sir. That's two crits. That's something, man. That's, That's something. Crits. Add those two dice in there uh, and see. Let's get those. Nothing else. So two. Hoping to get a uh, Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I'm blocking it, so no damage there from uh, onto Deadpool. He can do this all day. Mm. <laughs> all right, gonna do it again? Uh, yeah. You might as well. And then jump on that objective, I'm assuming, if oh, he yeah. has the power. I don't know if he Oh, does. he has the power. Yeah. 
That's there what you're looking for. Yeah, that's three. One. That's good. And add another die in there from the crit. Wilds are always good. Get that. Uh, so that's four. four. You need to make some of these Deadpool. Make some. Uh, you got one. one. Uh, I got a reroll from my I know karate. I need to do it. It's a blank. So no. Yeah. He takes three points of damage because uh, yeah. you got four there. And he is yeah. also dazed. That is okay though because he's better on his day side. And placing Hawkeye like so over within one of that back objective. So nobody has this objective. Nobody has those cubes. Um, which really is me losing three points this turn, mm -hmm. which is huge. Well, very huge. I don't have any. I can't accept. Uh, I actually forgot that I had friggin' exceptional healing, so that is a perfect time to play exceptional healing, because uh, it will put them, uh, reduce the damage that was dealt four down to one, um, puts them at two damage, and he still has, or those are still there, like so. I completely mm -hmm. forgot about it. So he only has one power, though, left on him at this point. Okay. Uh, but he's alive, and that's something. That's something. And Sean is doing the slow on him as well, um, so he can't move nearly as fast or as far. Say the vie. Wolverine's gonna be my next activation. I was thinking about doing Deadpool, but he's pretty safe, so Wolverine is going to spend three power, and he's gonna do uh, Weapon X program, and he's gonna collide with Cap all the way over here. So he is considered a size three. Um, figure or miniature when he's thrown um, because of his adamantium skeleton so you have four damage coming into cap at this mm -hmm. point uh, so yeah let's see what your dodge roll is with your four physical yeah. defense four. yeah okay yeah take no damage from that that's no. fine add two crit rolls in there and let's see what you get yeah, you block all the damage from Wolverine throwing himself at you. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Now Wolverine's going to do an Adamantium Slash into Cap. It's physical. Physical? Five, yeah, five dice. It's his regular attack. It's his regular attack, yep. Mm. It does have Pierce and Bleed on there as well. He hasn't. So that's and I still have my two actions, so... still two actions. Well, this will be my first action. All right, I'm going to spend my first power to... To increase your defense to six. defense to six. Okay, let's see what I get. Uh, I get ones. <laughs> I get one. I do have a reroll, which I will add on there, but okay. it's uh, one currently with a hit. I block it. <laughs> you, yeah, currently. Roll those two crits in there. See what you get from those. Uh, you get three. Uh, so I'm not doing anything. I was hope, hoping for a bleed. Uh, let's do something else. Let me see. Let me see. All right, well, it's going to be another Adamantium Slash and Cap. <laughs> wow, what a terrible first roll that was. I don't have any power to pay. Yeah, and I can't do my wet works again this turn. That's a little bit better. Uh, it's two, three, no wilds, no piercing, or anything like that. So. I block one. One, yeah. So you take two damage, and I gain two power from that. Two damage. Mm hmm. And then my healing factor kicks in and I heal the one damage that was on Wolverine. I was really hoping to do a lot more to cap that turn with everything, but uh, your dice rolled in your favor, sir. Yep. Uh, doing a base. Not his basic trick. He already has no power to do his. Oh, shield slam? Resistance. Okay, doing a shield slam into Wolverine. Yep. Okay, it is physical, so Six I will dice. roll my four dice. Um, cable will boost it up to a six as well. Using um, telekinetic shield, because okay. Wolverine is definitely within three. So, okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what you get on your six dice. Right? It is annoying. Mm. It is very annoying. Yeah. Here we are. I don't have another payback card. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't, didn't even me. need that shield bonus, I don't think. But uh, why couldn't I get that on something else? <laughs> he blocks it. He blocks it. Yeah. Completely. Doing anything else? Just a basic strike then, I'm assuming? And just a basic strike. Okay. I will not use my uh, Still dice. Yeah, tonight telekinetic shield from the cable this time. I will not. <laughs> That's three. That's three. Throw your crit in there and let's see what uh, yep. that converts to or not. It does, so four. I'm blocking one, so he'll take three points of damage onto Wolverine. Three points of damage on Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Cable's up next, he's gonna be shooting the Black Panther uh, with his plasma rifle. Doing anything about that? Um not doing anything about that, so here we go. Five die plasma rifle into energy? it is energy, yep, into uh, Black Panther. There's two crits and a wild. 
So you will be incinerated. So that's four so far going into Black Panther, but I do have a reroll with Wetworks. So let's see what you get on your, oh, uh, you got two because your blank counts as one as well. Yeah. So two, so you're gonna take two damage. Uh, let's see if this will convert with wet works. It does not. No. Okay, and you are incinerated as well. Okay. All right. Yep. And doing the exact same thing again, plasma rifle into uh, Black Panther. Doing anything this time or no? No. No? Okay. No. Uh, I'm gonna roll then. Here we go. Uh, that is three with a crit. Uh, four with a crit into Black Panther, and now you only have defense of two because of the instant rate. So, mm. so let's see what you get. Oh, yeah. Okay. Blocking one. Blocking one. Mm-hmm. Blocking, Blocking two. two. So you take another two points of damage, and I'll gain another two points of power. Now, spending three points of power, I am throwing uh, that um, size three daily bugle into Black Panther, colliding on the side of the base there. So, uh, yeah. So we'll go from there. That was just standing up, something like that. Uh, and so he needs to make a dodge roll. Thankfully, you do have four dice though this time. Can I take it to the captain's. No, that's an, it's an, not an attack. So, so let's see if I take Black Panther out with that daily bugle to the face. You do have four dice to try to dodge. dodge. I just need two to go through, which they do. Definitely. That is a downed uh, or day story, Black Panther. Spider-Man is going to be doing a taser web into Wolverine over here. I will be shielding with Cable. Uh, increases his defense to five versus this because it is an energy attack. Uh, but you ha does it have a shock ability or what does it do? Uh, if it deals damage, what does it do? Something. Stun. Stun. Okay. Let's see what you get, sir. So five, six, six. Oh. Okay. That's five. Yeah, that's you might just have dazed Wolverine, uh, which is good. Mm -hmm. Throw your crit in there. Let's see what you get. Uh, six. Ooh. Uh, Wolverine blocks three, so he's not out yet. Uh, mm. He blocks three and will take three damage, gain three power. Uh, but he only has one damage left on him. Four. Doing impact webbing into Wolverine now. Uh, it is physical, so I get four de defense now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you roll, sir. Two. I need to make these. I need to make these. I do. He yep. is alive. Yep. Just barely alive with one. But he will daze actually at the beginning of next turn uh, in the power phase when he oh. takes damage. So, yeah. Domino here is going to blast Cap with a pistol shot. Uh, so let's see what she gets. Uh, it's four dice. Are you going to increase your defenses at all? Yes. You will? Okay. Wait. It's, it's only four dice. Or so, yeah. Mm, probably not. That's no? True. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first one, if I get a hit, I get a rapid fire, and she gains a power from this as well. That is really, uh -huh. that, you should have, yeah. That's five, That's five. Uh, going into you, so, and I do get uh, my rapid fire. Yep. I gain a power from that as well. Oh, and I you don't block, block any. Me. So that is a day's cap. That's a day's cap. Um, I will take that token, because I'm going to move her to grab it as well. And that token is being placed there, so she's just going to take a move action, uh, like so, just to be within one, mm -hmm. and then spend one power to pick that up. Deadpool is next. Uh, he's going to take a move action, come over here. Um, I might as well try to finish off uh, Black Widow there, I think, because I get two rerolls on one of his stab attacks. Mm. So, yeah, I think I gotta try it. Here we go with the stab attack from Deadpool into um, Black Widow. You do have two damage left on her. Yep. Oh, that is good. That's real good. All right, so I can't reroll those, so it's four coming in at you. You do have uh, three defense, though. Mm -hmm. So let's see what you get. Three defense. Yeah, three defense. And you get to add blanks in there too. Okay, add that crit in there. Add that crit? Yeah. No. no. Okay, so you take two damage, I gain yeah. two power, and you drop your token and are dazed as well. Yeah. So Deadpool now has three power. There's three tokens there, so he's going to be picking up all three, uh, and he'll heal the two damage that is on him as well. Uh, and so those are going on his card. So uh, it's going to be a huge point swing uh, this round for myself. 
Okay, so round two, uh, Sean, you're going up two victory points because you have two uh, infinity serum canisters. Um, I'm jumping up seven uh, to tw uh, from five to 12 because I got five uh, cube fragments, and then I also have two serum canisters, one there with Deadpool and one over there with Domino and Cable. Uh, so we'll come into round three next. phase of round three, Wolverine will uh, take a damage, gain a power, plus gain another power, putting him up to max power, um, and will become dazed for this round, uh, dropping the cosmic cube back there. That's where Sean put it. Um, Domino took a damage and gained three power, um, one from the cube, uh, one from the infinity canister, then the regular cable gained three power as well uh, from the canister. Deadpool took three damage. Um, from the cubes, but gain five power, one regularly, one from the canister, and three from the cubes. So he's sitting on five power currently. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Toad is no longer uh, dazed, and he's on the injured side. Um, yeah, so let's see what Sean does or decides to do with his first activation on round three. Okay. Hawkeye's going to be going first. going to be doing a shot into Deadpool, I'm assuming. He is gonna pay, he's going to pay to ignore your... Uh, the line of sight and line cover, I believe, yeah. Yep. Using trick shot, ignoring that line of sight. Let's see what you roll for your five dice. So, I have defense of three versus both physical and energy, so it doesn't really matter nearly as much. Uh, that is two plus a crit, so throw that crit in there. Mm -hmm. and three. So, come on, Deadpool, roll hot. Yeah, he is dazed uh, and out. So he's going to be dropping all three of those. Yes. So um, are you going to play your card if you want, or are you just going to drop them somewhere? Uh, so, Sean, you are playing. What is that? Pass me that card again. What is it called? Is it uh, Special Operatives or Professionals? Sorry. So basically, Natasha and Clinton may spend two power each to play this card if uh, Clinton damages the character with an attack. Uh, this round, Natasha Romanov is within two, which she is. Um, you may move one asset or civilian token from the damaged character to Natasha. She is now holding the token. This card does not allow a character to hold more than uh, tokens than the thing. So you're going to pull one of these onto Natasha automatically. Oh, okay. uh, and the reason why he's doing that is in case he doesn't take out Toad, I'm assuming, with the second shot. Yeah. And it sort of forces me to interact with that or, or take out Natasha. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Second shot now into Toad. Uh, I do not have cover or anything. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what you get. Five dice. Five dice. One. One. Not going to take him out. Nope. Uh, two. Nope. Toad is blocking, so no damage from there. And I didn't even get a crit. No wilds, oh, no nothing. Wow. Toad is going to be my next activation then, if you're not going to do anything else with Hawkeye. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay, so Toad's going to activate. He's going to hop. Uh, actually, do I need to do that? I'm just curious. Do I need to do that? Hmm. So I got to hop over here uh, because Sean forgot to place the uh, tokens. So I got to spend his two power to come over here. And I got to go after Natasha. I want to be within go one. The... Yeah, I want to be within one of um, both. I'm just nudging things here. I'm sorry. I want to be within one of both. Something like that of both uh, those objectives. I guess it doesn't matter. I can be within two. Uh, I gotta try to yeah, attack uh, Natasha though. Here we go with a tongue lash into Natasha. Let's see what happens there. Four dice. Uh, that is two with a push as well. So what do you roll for your uh, defense, sir? I'm blocking two, so no damage. No damage. Ugh. Um, but I'm pushed. You are pushed. I will push you short. And push back like that, uh, straight back. Um, one. Yeah. So. Gonna do your counter strike. Counter strike. All right. I should have. Yeah. Who knows? <clears throat> I had to try to get those things within range. Uh, so he takes one. one point of damage and gains one power from that. Uh, I am going to um, do my tongue lash against you again. It is uh, a range three attack, so you're still within range three. So let's see. One. <laughs> One. One. Yeah. Blocked. You're blocked, yeah. Nothing and... there. And because Sean is not doing Counter-Strike, I am going to pick up one of those cubes as well. Black Panther is up next for Sean. What are you going to do with him, sir?
Okay, so Black Panther is going to pounce something like that, but no matter where he goes, he's either going to hit that or this before he hits he's Cable. He's going to pounce into here. Into that? Okay. Yeah. So he's going to come straight down like that? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and move him then. Yeah. yeah. You will destroy that piece of train because it's size one, so. Um, yeah, well, you, you sort of end back a little bit at the edge of the train okay. when you collide with it, so. But yeah, I moved it too early. That's my plan. So you're going to do a kinetic burst and domino um, using six power. So it does three additional dice of damage. So it turns into uh, nine. Um, Cable is going to give her the shield, uh, the telekinetic shield. So she'll roll five dice. Your crits don't explode, though, uh, and roll additional dice here. Oh, FYI. Really? Yep. Oh, that's right. That's where I made that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, let's see what you roll. If you get a wild, I think you do the push as well, right? So yeah. other characters within two of her, so that would be Cable, and they would also suffer damage. All right, so all those crits, the four successes that you have, mm -hmm. don't explode. Okay. Okay, so you have four damage. I have, that's definitely cocked, that one there. Mm -hmm. Should have paid for the uh, so I got three so far. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably. I can only read one because one is blank. The skull's blank. Yeah, that's true, actually. Uh, and then my two crits get added in there as well. Uh, I will spend a power to make that. Oh, it doesn't matter, actually. I can't do that. Um, it so. Explode. Yeah, she takes two damage from that, dude. Gains two power. Takes just two damage. Just two, because I have two crits. I was going to try to use my crits thing, but I didn't roll any natural skulls on the first one, so I can't do that. So, so two damage. Now doing a basic strike into Domino. I'm going to be using my Telekinetic Shield again on her, giving her five dice. She only has two damage left on her, so let's see what you do, or what I roll. Here we go with your attack roll, Sean. Yep. Uh, <laughs> one. She would have been fine on her own, probably without those. So, But yeah, I'd rather play it safe than sorry. Okay, so that's Domino, or Black Panther done then, I think, right? Yeah, Okay. Did nothing. Cable's gonna go next. I'm gonna try to put some damage into uh, Black Panther there. Five dice with his plasma rifle because he has no power now. Uh, doing any bodyguarding of the such because you are still just within two as well. What's the attack on him again? A five, strength five attack, but on a wild it incinerates you. It incinerates me. Yeah. One of my yeah. It is energy as well, which he only has three... E uh, defense dice against. So using the Vibranium Armor from Black Panther uh, to add five dice. Here's my five die roll. Uh, that's two um, so far. Two, and I get a reroll. Uh, or sorry, a crit. Not a reroll yet. You're blocking two. Uh, so then my reroll, nothing. So no damage, but I'm going to do it again. So now you don't have the power to do that. Nope. So let's see what I get now. Well, that's better. That's three with two crits. That's four, five. Okay. Five going into you. And I do get a reroll for one of the blanks. So. Uh -oh. oh, nothing. And that's six. So that is a uh, knocked Days out. Knocked, knocked out Black Panther. Panther. Yeah. Mm. All right. I'll get six power from that. I was thinking of body sliding by one to do some stuff with cable, uh, but I am not going to at this point, um, just because, yeah, there's no sense. Activating Spider-Man X, what are you doing with him? Is he gonna hang out on that objective or is he going to try to do something? I think you are out. I'm out. Yeah. So his first Take a move action to action move a little bit. To move a little okay. bit. I just Sounds want to good. get in range so I can. Absolutely. First action is move over here like so. And then second one I'm assuming is you're going to make me move short forward towards yep. you. Sounds good. And being pulled with web line uh, like so. so. Spider-Man's second action is to do an impact webbing into Domino now. Uh, I am using Telekinetic Shield from Cable. Leaves him with four power so we can still do it two more times. Uh, so let's see what you get. Crit does not explode so it's only two. And Domino says, no, sir, uh, I have to spend a power to make that into a critical, which then will add another die, which is still two to keep that damage from okay. me. So, And Spider-Man is going to do web pulse from that uh, piece of terrain there and throw it into Domino, uh, just going straight down. No blanks or hits on this dodge roll. Come on. 
That's good. She takes no damage. What? No damage. That's three successes, and she had three damage going into her size two plus one, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah, that is what I needed right there. She's still kicking. Domino's going next for me. Uh, I'm gonna spend one power of her seven to do grenade bounce into Cap because I want that incinerate on him. Uh, it's four dice. Are you gonna um, do anything about that? Vibranium shield. It's I'm idea. Yeah. Well, you, shield. you are gonna do vibranium shield. Yes. Okay. So only one power. One. Yep, here we go. My rules are as follows. I got one, sir. I got one. So you should be able to block that one. But you're going to be incinerated no matter what. Look at that block. block That's so all. good. You block it all. You got this. You got I this. should need to block it all. You are free at you. That's you, right. I know. You know. She's lucky, man. Mm -hmm. Lucky. Uh, Cap is incinerated, though. That's mm -hmm. the unfortunate part. Okay, so her second action then is going to be a pistol shot into Cap. You're now incinerated down to defense three, mm -hmm. and she is um, four dice with this. Okay. All right. Uh, are you going to vibrate and shield again? All right. So down to three, and you're throwing four dice. Four at dice. Me. Rapid fire. So I'm... we'll do it twice, uh -huh. potentially. Rapid fire? Potentially. No. Okay. I'm paying. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to pay two to do that. Okay. So here my, here's my roll. Uh, that is really good. I will spend a power to turn that into a crit as well. Uh, so I won't gain any power from that. So I got four plus two crits so far, okay? Uh, and I do have the rapid fire going off, so I get to add two more dice into that. That is uh, four coming into cap, okay? So you have five dice blocking. You're blocking four. Yeah, yep, block blocking four. four. So you take uh, no damage from that. No damage. No damage. Okay, so my rapid fire shots, let's see what happens there. Uh, that is going to be uh, three, four, because I'll spend a power to turn that skull into a crit as well. Uh, so five going to cap now. Hmm. Okay, and I'll gain a power from is that. Is it an to... additional attack, or is it another? It is an additional attack, so you can do your thing again. Yeah, which I thought you would anyway, so, because it's two more power to do, so. All right, here's your five dice defense roll. I was assuming you were doing your vibrating shield anyways. Uh, you're blocking two, two, so you'll take three points of damage. Three points. Yeah, not good, not, not good. good. So Cap here is spending power to pick up the Cosmic Cube fragment that was behind him, then he's doing a move action over here to be within range one of that uh, serum canister uh, and right beside Cable. Next up, doing a shield slam into Cable, um, I will do my telekinetic force from that. Uh, just to give him an extra couple of defense dice. So let's see what your six dice give him. Or do to him, I should say. Uh, that is three. So cable. And you do have the wild there, which is your throw. Or your no. throw is automatic, automatic, isn't it? Cable is taking no damage. He blocks three. Uh, but you do get to throw him short, isn't yeah. it? Yeah? yeah sure. Okay, so you do throw me short, and uh, Sean and I are discussing, there is just the slightest angle here um, where he comes over this way and is throwing uh, into domino uh, something like that. So it would be sort of like that on the side. Um, just because it would just be skimming past the garbage can there. So Domino would need to take a uh, dodge test and Cable will suffer a point of damage as well. Here we go for the dodge. Let, that's too many dice. Dodge test, let's see what happens. Um, I'm gonna turn that into a crit by spending a power. And uh, that is nothing. So she'll take one point of damage from that because the skull is treated as a crit. And uh, she's still kicking though. But she will daze at the beginning of the next round mm. with the uh, Cosmic Cube friend. All right, so uh, Black Widow is up next. You're going to move uh, her. Her? Yeah. And let's see what you do. So instead of moving, uh, Black Widow is actually going to shoot into Toad over here. Uh, so let's see what you do. That's two with a crit. Two. Let's see what your crit turns into. Two. Okay, so Toad needs to make one of these. Which he does. So he takes one point in damage. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but he gains one power uh, and is still alive. Doing another shot with pistol attack into Toad. Let's see what you get there. Uh, that's better. Two. Two. Yeah. It's let's, the same. Yeah, you get a crit though. Three. Three. Need to make all these, which I don't. That is Toad knocked out. But he does have a token, which you can pick up. Yeah. Um, so, him. because it will be within one of you before the end of your activation. So, Toad is knocked out. Knocked and out. I'm assuming you're going to pick that yep. token up. So, here pick you go. Up. All right. And that is the end of the round. 
Going into the cooling phase of round three, uh, I get one victory point from Domino having the uh, one Cosmic Cube Pregnant, but she's going to daze at the beginning of the next round, and you're going to go up five. Uh, Black Widow has two, and Cap has uh, one, plus there's two, uh, they're contesting two um, Infinity, uh, Infinity Serum Canister. So you're at 11 to my 13, and we're going in round four next. Pretty close game. We'll see what this brings. phase domino is going to be dazing and dropping that uh, cube after gaining some power um, Deadpool gained a couple extra power cable obviously obviously is normal Wolverine has no additional power um, so yeah that's what the board looks like going in round four we'll see where I go I think I'm gonna start off with Deadpool I gotta start with Deadpool because I gotta take out her because if not that's two victory points uh, uh, that you'll have running away from me um, which I can't do. Um, so I got to take her out. So I'm going to do a uh, move action with Deadpool. I could try to do like a bang bang, but I don't know if I want to actually. Hold on, let me think. Okay, so I'm going to start at the beginning of the activation phase before I activate anybody. Um, I'm going to spend three power off of Deadpool. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I am going to play Doomed Prophecy. So he no longer can roll physical uh, defense dice. But with that said, um, he gets to add for this round uh, his defense dice into his attacks. So he's going to start off with a bang, bang, well, a bang into uh, Scarlet Witch. Normally four dice, now it is seven. Okay. Or into Black Widow, sorry. So seven dice into her. So And you are within range three, so I can still hit you. Mm -hmm. Okay, But you don't get to add your dice. I only need to do two damage. Um, so yeah. Do we want to do that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Here we go. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, four. I guess it's not that bad when you yeah. think about it. Uh, five going into you, sir. And I do get another bang in there because I do have a wild and a hit. So so I get to do that again. Yeah. Mm. So there's five coming into you. Five. Let's see. You block two. Block two. Yeah. And you don't get your martial artist, but you get to add your crit roll in there. I guess even if you roll the third, you're still, I have five coming at you. You're still dazed. I'm still dazed. Yeah. So uh, the two uh, infinity or the fragments that you have, mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop them within two of her over here, which puts them within one of Deadpool. Mm -hmm. I'll spend two power off of him and pick him up. And then he's going to run away and say, peace. And Deadpool now is running away with these fragments, burning his life force and energy with him as he's running away with glee. Cap is up next for Sean. What are you gonna do? Doing a shield slam now into Cable from Cap before he goes down. Six, Six dice. dice. I am using my telekinetic shield uh, to increase my defense up to five. Mm -hmm. So let's see what you get. That's a good roll. Three is not bad. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to block them most likely then. So I'll add my two crits. Yeah, block them. Yep. So there we go. Okay, so you block them all. Yep. But you are throwing. Thrown. So it was. But... I'm assuming you just want to throw yep. him like this into Wolverine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll do you a dodge test with Wolverine. Now. Wolverine dodging. Let's see what he gets. Uh, he's loving it so far. He takes one point of damage. That's not bad for Wolverine. Doing another shield slam into Cable here. Let's see what you get. Uh, I will telekinetic shield myself. How are you that? Like, all right, two. Just two. Uh -huh. I block him. Uh, throwing it into Wolverine. Yep. Okay. Dodging with Wolverine. Um, he blocks all of them, so he takes no damage. But Cable takes damage and gains another power as well from that. So Wolverine's going to be next for me. I'm going to spend three of his ten power to do the best at what I do uh, to uh, get him. I want to do a medium move, so he's literally just going to come over here just within two of uh, Spider-Man. And then I am going to do my adamantium slash, but any wilds that I get counts as two successes, okay? Mm. Yeah, the Canadian midget hairy beast is going after mm. Spider-Man. So uh, here we go. Let's see what I get. That's not bad. That is four with a crit. 
that is uh, four with a crit, and I do have a reroll for this one as well. So, but I have no wilds, which means no pierce, uh, good. which is good for you. So four so far, but I do have a reroll. Let's see what you get. All right, so you got one, but you get two rerolls with that. Uh, I have four coming in at you. Nope. So you're gonna be taking three points of damage on Spider Man. Three points. I actually forgot to roll one extra die because I have a point of damage on me as well because I have Wild Rage, which means I can no longer contest objectives, but okay. each point of damage on him, he, t he gets to roll an extra die, so mm. would be another hit on him. <laughs> so that would be a dazed, dazed yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. All right. Now I'm doing a Berserker Barrage into Cap, spending three power, um, and it is a seven die strike, uh, but if the attack deals damage, uh, you... Uh, are thrown short, so okay. Right. So I have seven dice into your five. Uh, let's see what happens. That's not good for me. Like no. that's not it's good. good. It's, it's good, good for you. It's good good for, for you. Not good for me. Uh, Spider Man is day. So I have one, but I do have a reroll. So uh, that's the only thing that might save me. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. So I do get to be placed within one of you, though. I think as well. Yeah. Hawkeye's next for Sean. Uh, I'm assuming that you're just gonna jump forward and shoot into um, into Deadpool. Yeah, you're definitely gonna get in range for sure. <clears throat> I was hoping to get at least force a movement out of Hawkeye, but that definitely did not happen. Uh, a physical attack? Yep. Okay, let's see what five dice gets you. Hopefully he drops him with one go. I hope not. I hope not. Nope, you will nope. not. That's no. three. Not. That's three. Mm-hmm. That's four. He's still alive. Still alive. Oh, this is four. Yeah. You can't block it. No, I can't. Can I do it again? Yeah. First of all, I did how much? Four damage? Four damage, yep. So that's... That's that. And the second attack into uh, Deadpool will also knock him out, out. Uh, which will drop these. Uh, I'm assuming you want them to be within two. Yeah. Of... There's no way I can drop them within. Yeah. Far enough to. No, so they're gonna be they're gonna be up here, something like that. So, uh, and he's gone, but that's okay because it served the purpose of drawing you off of objectives. Um, and I should still be able to get some points this round as well, so. Cable's gonna be doing a plasma rifle shot into uh, Cap. I gotta try to take him out here, so uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, I know that I'll survive. What's that, dude? I highly doubt I'll survive. Yeah, well, it's only five dice. Are you gonna use your... Can't. Oh, you have no power. I have mm. no power. Mm. Ugh, so Come on, chance. Yeah, that's big two. Point. That's oh, two. two. I do have a reroll though. That's enough. Let's see what you get on your three dice. Mm. I buckle. <laughs> uh, I got to do it again. Then I got to do it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to do it again. Here we go. Uh, that's better. Oh. That's four going into you. So. Four. I need two to go through. I just need two to go through. That's it. Come on. Yeah, no. Come on. Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, I will. So you got one to go. Through. One to go through. So that is. Yeah, that's not enough. That's a not enough. But I don't not think enough. you can do any more. I sure can. I can throw stuff. I guess I probably should have done this the other way around and did the throw first. Uh, into caps. So I'm going to spend two power of cables four to uh, throw the tree into cap. I really should have done it the other way around and threw first, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. All right, cap, dodge roll time. You got four dice. Your blanks don't count this time. Four dice, sir. Four dice. Yeah. Four dice. I just need one to go through. Oh, uh, what did it? Do? Uh, it uh, you block two. Do I not blocked. block three. No. That is a day's cap. That is no, not days. Uh, out, out cap, sorry. Cap. Um, and I will pick up that uh, infinity serum canister or um, cube. Yep. Sorry, in, uh, the fragment, cube fragment. Um, so yeah, that leaves me with uh, one power on cable. I should have done the throw first and then shot, um, but yeah, that is good enough for me. Cleanup phase round four. Um, I have uh, one victory point from Cable picking up the uh, fragment. 
you get none because nobody else on your side has anything and your Spider-Man will be um, flipping to the injured side as well. So we'll come back with round five next. On cable anyway. uh, he has two left on his healthy side. I'm going to throw it at cable. Okay, so you're picking up that uh, lamppost there, size one scatter train, and you're going to throw it at uh, cable. cable with Spider Man. Uh, so here we go with his dodge. He's loving it. Oh, wait a minute. Can I even throw it? It's Is it short? It's short. Oh, you might not. It might be into Domino. Gate that uh, both Cable and Domino are both out. Cable is way out and Domino is just like a, a fraction. A fraction. Uh, so yeah, cannot throw that. Uh, so we'll see what Spider-Man does then with his action. Doing taser web instead into Cable to try to take him out. Uh, I will be using two power to do telekinetic uh, force shield. Let's see what you get. One. One. I block it. You definitely block it. Yeah, barely, but I block it. So. And that didn't nothing. No. Second action is to move Wolverine away uh, from there, trying to hold that one point, because if he stays there, and then over here, um, you have Hawkeye yeah. with um, a whole bunch of things that are available to him as well, so. Uh, Domino's gonna be my next activation. Uh, I was looking at going after Hawkeye over here, but I would get two shots off after porting myself, um, body slide by one and uh, Hawkeye would have his fast draw he has all the power in the world so he would get a shot off at cable first and then I wouldn't be able to use my telekinetic force shield um, so I'm gonna go with Domino into Spider-Man Domino's gonna take a move action and she's gonna move up here uh, and basically sit on this objective to be able to hit Spider-Man as well so here we go with the move action like so uh, just within one, so, and then within three of Spider-Man, and I'm gonna do my, um, what the heck is it called? Rapid fire pistol shot thing, okay. right? Automatic pistols, let's see what happens. Four dice. Uh, that's not a good roll. I do have a rapid fire there, but it's only one. I only get one on you, which sucks. I need to get power from that as well. All right. So All right, so just one. So is it power or is it physical? Uh, it's physical, so you get your three. three. Yeah, <laughs> you're blocking it, blocking so it doesn't it. matter anyways. Uh, I do get my rapid fire on you. Okay. Because there was a hit there. So here's my rapid fire. I was hoping to do a little bit more. Ah, it did not happen. That's way better. That is uh, four. Chance of five, six. Uh, well, it depends on what I roll here. Counts as five. five. Yeah, five coming into you, Spider-Man. You do get your re-roll, so you do get two of those. Uh, so you're taking three damage on Spider-Man. Okay. Yep. Hawkeye is going to hook shot for two over here, which places him within one of both. Yep. Um, well, you could do one of basically everything, I think. Something. Actually, you might not be able to get within one of everything. That will be the iffy one. Because you can get in within one of those, mm. but not... The well, far one here. I'm going to use one action just to move. Yeah, yeah to move. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to just end your movement wherever you want and spend your power, and that's that's what you'll do. So, so like, I would do it like this, pick that one up, pick and then move up, and back, then move, I'm assuming. Move back and pick the other one. All right, so, so you're spending your three power. Four, yep. And I'll just use his, his yeah. first action to... Move back there. Move back. And then he's just going to do nothing, except score you four victory points this turn. Four victory points. That's right. Wolverine's going to be my next go. He's going to take a medium movement action to move up, followed by, hopefully, uh, I can do this all day onto Spider-Man. So my first medium movement ends there. Uh, I'm going to try to do, I can do this all day, which is three power, to come here. I think I'm going to be out. Yeah, that's going to definitely be out, actually. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be out, because not, it's not going to work. Yeah, um, and then I guess Cable, Wolverine ah. is just going to go after him. Cable can, what he's going to do is basically just move within five, which is like here, and then I can just port back uh, to be within one, um, and that will be Cable's activation, but he's going to get a shot off. For and there we are with the range five, so let's do my shot, and then I'll just port back um, into that objective. Mm -hmm. So here we go, five dice. Uh, that's two. That's three, and I do have a reroll. 
as well mm, from my wet works ability. Two. Yeah. I just need two to go into. You, you get a yeah. reroll, but you get a reroll. Okay. And I get yeah. Yeah, so that's gonna so, be a it's gonna be a, yeah. a knocked out or day Spider Man and then Not I'm just gonna guy, so. then I'm just gonna port back my two, uh, which will put me within range one mm, of of that objective there as well. So uh, just like that. Um, and that will end the game. We'll do the um, clean up phase and then come back with the after action. All right, so clean up phase of round five. Um, Sean, you actually score four victory points here. Yep. Putting you up from 11 to 16, or yeah, six, uh, 15. Yep, to 15. Yep. You would have had uh, five victory points if I didn't take out um, Spider Man, okay. which would have put you at 16. Which is really good. Yeah. Um, I knew I was going to get 16 no matter what, but if I let it go another round past this, you would have jumped ahead of me and you would have won at the end of round six. Yeah. Um, but what happened was uh, Cable had a um, cube and then also had a serum canister and Domino did as well. So it puts me up to 17 at the end of round five. So we'll come back with the after action report. Yeah. All right, guys, there you go. That was the match between my X-Force and your yep. Avengers. Very close match, Sean. What was your thoughts? Um, I liked it. It was fun. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. How do you think your Avengers performed? Good. Do you think you would have done better with the original list idea that you were thinking of with four um, activations or no? Well, I really didn't have anyone that really did a lot of damage. I had most of my characters were basically doing small amounts of damage where mm -hmm. she would have hit hard hit her harder yeah yeah because what his original list idea was he was thinking for this was uh black panther spider-man cap and, and angela. angela which a lot of long movement and stuff yeah. but you wouldn't like you would have been spread throughout the board or um, a little thinner yeah because i only had four characters that's right to your five that's you right. would got automatic um, so where instead, I, and I, I do think you actually had some characters that did really well in the sense mm. of Hawkeye and uh, Black Widow yeah. on the far side of the board, um, they were able to sort of control yeah. that section they and, control that and section. did and what they, they had did. Most so that's, that. that's who was scoring you, yeah. your points was that side nice. of the board, right? Between Black Widow and, and Hawkeye. Yeah. Um, on this side of the board, uh, Cable, Wolverine, Domino was just a really tough nut yeah. to crack. Um, unfortunately, yeah. what I should have done is sent... Uh, early on for me, which sort of allowed you to score as many points as you did, instead of slipperying away uh, towards Black Widow, mm. I should have brought uh, Toad over towards Cable and stuff like that, mm. and kept him over this way, and then just uh, left like grab all the tokens and run across the board kind of thing. Well, uh, you know how he went up to the center. Yeah. And then you hit him with Hawkeye and then he jumped back, back. and he jumped towards Deadpool. Dang it. What I should have done is just left Deadpool on his own over on the other side and just said, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> and then just bring um, Toad back. towards yeah. this side because it would have cemented that point for me. Yeah. Is what I should have done, but I didn't. Um, yeah. And it would have been the better play. Like shield. Yeah, the teleconnect shield on cable. The shield I oh. couldn't get through. <laughs> uh, it's just like Strange's. Um, shielding mm. ability to and it's just really good and when you throw it on domino mm. who you can't roll your extra Kurtz dice yeah from, it makes um, it almost and, and her, for her, for her. yeah for her. she's just so good with cable um, the uh, only way around that is to throw things at her yes that very much so and mitigate her power ability yeah. so if she can't gain power because she's stunned or whatever yeah then uh it will or or you sat power from like a certain attacks then yeah. she won't be able to, to make uh failures into crits and stuff like that as well yeah. so um cable and her are really nice synergy mm -hmm. and work really well together i like uh deadpool second time using him i'm not sure exactly where he's fitting in yet at this point mm -hmm. in time he can do some damage uh, and does love the two extra rerolls, uh, yeah. but I don't know if I found a place for him. Wolverine in the right situation can do well as well, mm. uh, but Cable and Domino are rock stars, <laughs> well, if I may I think say. Dared, or I think Deadpool, yeah. he's probably best bringing the, uh, the taco. Oh, the chimichanga? The chimichanga. I don't know. I never played it in the last game. I only played with them. Because so. then that puts another victory point on the board. It doesn't put a victory point. It's just a token that gives you... It heals one point of damage or removes the status condition, and you gain a power at the end of your activation. I it no victory points with chimichanga. Victory. No, no. It's just a token that you can carry around that gives you bonuses. So... Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna. I think the next time I play this list, I'm gonna try them uh, in the X Men roster, mm. uh, and I'll probably probably throw Cable and Domino in the X Men roster with like Beast and Storm. Uh, so that'll be 14 points, and okay. based off of the the threats uh, and point levels, um, will determine where I sort of go uh, with uh, that. So like if it's 18 threat, yeah. I'll throw in Wolverine probably into it or Cyclops. I'm not sure. Um, but Domino and Domino, yes, yeah. they're just so good. With they're just her, so good. him and her. It's yeah, really man, hard to it, get through. One hundred percent, man. One hundred percent. So, uh, but it was good. Sean, thank you very much for playing, yeah. dude. I appreciate that, guys. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out uh, Torchlight Games and uh, Games and Hobbies. Uh, link to their web store in the description of the video down below, uh, and use that Fire Five code to save five percent off of your um, purchase of any of your hobby supplies and stuff like that. To our Patreon members, past and present, we appreciate your support that you guys are giving and allows us or helps us do what we're doing here on the channel everybody else make sure you check out that patreon link as well um, and again it does help us here uh, please remember to like share and subscribe till next time ignite your hobby